Hey guys, my name is Hopkins Langla and welcome back to another YouTube video. I am a qualified sports therapist and I'm currently studying my master's in physiotherapy. Before I start the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, share this video to all your friends and family and also follow me on both TikTok and Instagram. I post a lot more content there and you can also ask me questions, DM me. It's a lot easier to get access to me there. Yeah. So, what is a sports massage? A sports massage is a form of massage involving the manipulation of soft tissue to benefit a person engaged in regular physical activity. There are a few benefits associated with sports massage, some of them being it helps to increase blood circulation which will help in healing, helps to increase muscle flexibility, decreases muscle tightness, helps to relieve muscle soreness, helps to relieve stress and finally helps with recovery. However, there are a few drawbacks associated with sports massages, one meaning that it can be quite painful, Another is that the person will feel dizzy after the session and finally they might feel a bit sore as well after the session but all of these will go over time and they'll start to feel better after. There are also contraindications which you need to be aware about so for example if the person has an open wound do not perform the massage, any fractures, dislocations, deep vein from bones or skin infections, any of those please refrain from doing the sports massage because you will make it worse and you could potentially catch something. Another misconception that I hear quite a lot is that sports massage are only for athletes, that's a lie. Anyone can get a sports massage, absolutely anyone. If you're working nine to five at a desk, if you're working nine to five at a retail store where you're standing up all day, everyone needs a sports massage. Our body goes through so much stress throughout the day, week, years, that it needs to get a massage. It really helps. It helps to make it a lot more flexible, it loosens up the tissues and muscles, it helps to release stress, it helps the person feel a lot better. And now we're gonna get into the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to give a sports massage. So first up, we have effleurage. Effleurage is a massage technique that encourages relaxation, blood circulation and lymph flow. Effleurage increases circulation by increasing the temperature of the muscles and preparing them for more vigorous massage techniques. So this is where you apply the oil onto the patient's skin. So one of the benefits I found out with effleurage is that it helps to palpate the patient's body. You're able to identify any areas where there might be significant amount of tightness, maybe a bit of deformity, lack of muscle, and then you're able to focus on that area. So if you find a tight spot, you're able to focus on it and start to perform petrissage and apply pressure up along the back or legs. So for example, this video is doing it up along the back and you're pushing towards the heart. So for example, right now I'm using both my hands, but there's different techniques. You can use both hands, you can use one hand only, or you can even use your knuckles as well. And this will help to prepare the body for the rest of the massage. Petrissage is used to free up the movement of tissues and muscles by treating muscle knots or spasms. The petrissage massage technique uses a squeezing technique which can alleviate muscle spasms and you can also help to pick the muscle up basically. So as I'm showing you guys right now in the video, I'm currently picking up the hamstring muscle, I'm picking it off the bone, I'm just kneading it, helping to break down the adhesions, the tightness, so it makes the tissue a lot more pliable, hence able to make it a lot more flexible and relieving the tightness, pain, and my patients are able to move a lot better. I can also use my knuckles as a form of petrissage. This will help to also knead the muscle and I can also use my thumbs as well. So the thumbs have a smaller surface area compared to your hands or knuckles. So whatever amount of pressure you use, it'll be a bit more localized to a certain area. So using your thumbs can be a bit more painful and it's a lot more strenuous on your body as well. So be sure to use it at the right time. Don't put too much pressure. Don't use it too often because then you can get cramps around your hands and fingers. So just like a normal massage, the benefits you'll get, it'll help to break down the adhesion, increase blood flow, help to make the muscles a lot more flexible and also will help to reduce DOMS. And you can also use a sports massage gun and this is a great tool to have in your arsenal as your hands can get quite tired and sometimes it's just a lot easier to use the gun just to give yourself a little break but also it gives the body a different effect. So just like a normal massage, the benefits you'll get will help to break down the adhesions, increase blood flow, help to make the muscles a lot more flexible and also will help to reduce DOMS. And guys, this is basically the basics you'll need to perform a sports massage. This is very easy to understand, quick. I want to make this as simple as possible so that anyone can practically pick it up. But I'll be making a lot more complex videos showing you how to target specific muscles, what techniques I use and what I look out for. And while performing the massage, get creative, you know. So if you find a certain spot, use some of the techniques I taught you, find some more information online and just try different things out. And sometimes you might not need to go through the conventional route for the sports massage. You might need to perform a different sort of treatment. So potentially use the massage gun. You could use some heat. You could even use a TENS machine to aid in your assistance. Whatever works as long as you do your research. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share this video to all your friends and family. And make sure to have a nice day and more videos coming soon. Bye.